PPAs on Linux Mint. Yeah, let's talk about that one. Hey everyone, what's happening? And today we're talking about personal package archives or PPAs. Now these are uh, extra repositories for Ubuntu based systems. So uh, what these do uh, is either gives you an update path for, to get newer versions of application or adding new applications that aren't available in the main repos for you. So let's go ahead, let's jump to the desktop and we'll dive into it. So the first thing you need to do is identify what software you want to either add or update. Now in my case, we're gonna update a couple things. So we're going to go to Office and LibreOffice. Now the version that comes here is with uh, Linux Mint is 6.0. And right now 6.2 is the latest uh, stable version and 6.3 will soon be coming out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and update that because there are some features I like to use with LibreOffice that are available in 6.0. And uh, a lot of people like the, uh, the tab view of uh, that looks like Microsoft Office and that doesn't come built in until you do 6.2. And also another one is GIMP. Uh, graphics or the GNU image manipulation program now this comes with version 2.8 and I hate 2.8 because it's got these uh, toolbars like this I like it all in one window instead of having this window to interface it's rather dated so we're gonna go ahead and update these two programs so uh, what you would do is go and find the PPAs they're usually on launchpad but you can also get them from the developer's website a lot of times too. But I have the, the, the launch pad sites right here. So um, we're going to go ahead and add the GIMP repository first. And really all you would have to do is find this command right here. Copy it. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal. Uh, we'll hit maximize. And... And what we would do is paste it in here and then press enter. Enter in the password. And then press enter. Hi, this is Future Me. I recorded myself adding the LibreOffice repository, but that footage got corrupted. But you didn't get missed much because it was just me doing the same thing that I did with the GIMP repository, then running an APT upgrade to install the update. So let's continue with the video. So now that we've got these updated, now we can go back into the programs. Version 6.2 and GIMP version 2.10. Now you can also use this to add different types of software, etc. Now I like version 2.10 a little bit better. Then uh, two, then uh, two point eight, and man, this one still has that one. So I might just switch to glimpse. 
but those are updated. Now you can also Now you can also add uh, PPA sources, etc., by going to uh, um, system administration right here, going to software sources right here, entering in your password. And allowing it to come up and you can go to PPAs right here and hit click add and put put the PPA identifier in here but I just find it just easier just to copy and paste it into the terminal um, but also you can then and do it to the GUI and run your updates to the update manager as well So that was Ubuntu PPAs inside of Linux Mint. These are very, very useful uh, tools to update software and add software. Now, there are a couple things you need to keep in mind. One is that these are individually managed uh, repositories. They're not managed by the Ubuntu team or the Linux Mint team. These are managed by developers. So. They can cause some instability. However, that is very, very rare. Number two is the PPAs are an Ubuntu technology. Uh, they are not compatible with Debian stable or Debian testing, etc. Or any distribution that's based off of that, such as uh, Linux Mint Debian edition. Don't use PPAs with that. Or MX Linux, Debian Stable, Dev One, etc. Only things that are based on Ubuntu or or Ubuntu and its official flavors. So that's about all I have for you today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's what the thumbs down button's for. And go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.